hour at Newbridge Park and Ride at 10 to 2 in the afternoon. There's one person queuing for the bus at Park and Ride at the moment. And this is how many people would be getting onto the new bus route. Gonna test, uh, Caroline, we're going to go test the roofs, aren't we? We're going to test the roofs. All the way down to the Windsor Bridge. See how long it takes us to get to Windsor Bridge from the Newbridge Park and Ride. Okay, car's running, okay. Caroline. Okay. Take the camera, let's go for it. Okay, it's four minutes to two on our little clock on the dashboard, Caroline. Okay, Dave, and we're leaving the park and ride site. Seat belts are on and we're off. Seat belts are on. Now, Caroline, I'm going to stick to the speed limit here, which is 30, of Absolutely, course. Absolutely, it is. From now, here on in, it's 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour. And now the, uh, the bus lane on the way in, Caroline, the speed limit on that for buses is going to be 30 as well, we gather, yeah? I would suspect so, that is right. Oh, actually, we haven't hit the 30 mile an hour speed limit yet, but we will do it in a few yards' time from here. This is the same route at the moment, this is the same route that the bus takes. This is, this is the park and ride route as it is into the city centre. We're now okay. approaching the 30 mile an hour speed limit. And, and it's this point here, isn't it, Caroline? This junction here where the buses will turn off down to the new middle Bristol Road, the RT route. That's yeah? just the junction. That small junction there. So they're going to be delayed for a bit, to turning left into that, right. turning right into that junction. There is a park and ride bus going back to the bus stop. Park and ride, and we've got how much traffic here? We have no traffic no, at the moment no at all. No traffic at the moment. Okay, no traffic. So at the moment, the BRT at the moment uh, would probably still be turning right, going down Brownsmore Lane. That's right. Uh, so we're probably probably in front of the bus at the moment, aren't we, Caroline? If we were if we were racing it as such, we would our, be because the bus wouldn't wouldn't actually have reached the wouldn't actually have reached the off road part of the route yet. Okay, and it's now one fifty eight. That's two minutes into our two journey. Minutes. There is now nobody he heading towards us coming out of town. We have nobody in front of us at all. And I've got I've got one car about 200 metres behind us uh, in my rear view mirror, and one just pulled out. So oh, yeah. there's there's a bike, two bikes, and a bike and a cyclist. Cyclist. That's right. Okay, this, this may be Caroline. This is the congestion that they're talking about. We've That's got right. a car parked on the left and a lorry in front. Maybe this is a congestion. That we um, that we're this working to avoid here. Do you think? That's right. Yes, yeah. this is what we're trying to do in the daytime. This is what we're going during to be avoiding. And this is this is nine what nine million pounds or? Uh, no, it's uh, more than that. More than that. More than I that. I think okay. that's uh, quite a considerable amount of money. More than okay. that. So I've got to stop. I've got one all. stop here for a pedestrian. Pedestrian okay. crossing. Now bear in mind we've got Station Road down here on the right, and there will be some lights anyway at Station Road. That's right. As the BRT route crosses. Uh, that section of road, it so there also be lights down there anyway, right? Because okay. that will have to let the traffic going down that road uh, through the route and right. let the bus across the main road. Okay. So whereas there are now no traffic lights for traffic going down that road, they will be confronted with lights. Okay, small stop here, Caroline, and small we could stop. possibly have an even longer stop if there were right. maybe another vehicle of probably about 30 seconds again, the worst case, I we would, would say. So yeah. That's right, yeah. yes, the lights would change okay. in that amount of time. Bit of rain. This is this is um, still Here still going tw twenty one miles an hour at the moment. So right. what what strikes me, Caroline, there's is there's really not any congestion yet, is there? there? No. no, no. There was and nearly a slight queue there because somebody was turning right. Nearly but a slight was queue. Somebody being held up by somebody turning into the junction, but that hasn't taken any time whatsoever. And you know, I think at this stage we can safely say we've probably beaten the BRT bus because. That's We're right. coming up to the Windsor Bridge now, Windsor Bridge. and this is where the BRT route would join anyway to That's go right. into town. That's right, yes, it would, so, yeah. it would go across onto the Western Riverside development site, but at this moment Western Riverside is, is being delayed, is being so delayed. it will actually just go back onto the main roads as far as we are Okay, aware. so that was, um, that was two minutes, That's that was two minutes to here, was um, right. well, three minutes maximum, and um, right. I'm finding it hard there, Caroline, to understand how the bus is going to save any journey times on a on a 12 million pound middle bristol road i i, I find it hard there that's right uh, maybe maybe charles gerrish or one of his colleagues might enlighten me somehow but i don't see it 
That's true. Uh, the only the only possible advantage would be at the very small times when the traffic is at its peak. But both times, it will have to join the traffic at the Park and Ride Junction to get into town, and it will still be meet the queue at that junction of Brassmill Lane when it tries to get back into into the Park and Ride because it will meet the people coming home, well, coming out of us. That's quite remarkable because we're at the end here and. Um, that's, that's quite fascinating, isn't it, Caroline? Uh, five, five and a half minutes of recording that was in total, was including getting into the car and getting to Royal Victoria Park. Um, that's right. So, um, it's millions of taxpayers' money to avoid that amount of congestion during the daytime in coming into, into the central bath. Amazing, Caroline. Thank you very much that's for that. Right. That's my pleasure.